Hey guys, Coach Kenny with another coaching video for CFLA uh, for the week of uh, June 9th. Uh, Monday, we've got a practice day. Again, we're following our pistol progressions, which means, like I mentioned last week, a sense of playfulness. One of the things that I want you to be working on when you're doing your pistols, and what I've been noticing in the last couple weeks, is that people aren't flexing their spine enough and getting their chin over their knee during the pistol. Also, as, as a lot of you are coming out of your pistols, your chin is getting behind the knee too early. So what that means is you're not able to, to keep your center of balance uh, positioned well coming out of the hole. Especially, this cue is especially important for people on bands. So again, the one thing that you want is to get that flexed spine so it looks like a really powerful sit-up and getting your chin over the knee. That'll help you get out of the hole on your pistols. Be mindful of that, practice that through the week. You're gonna have another opportunity on Thursday to, to practice that and it'll be a great opportunity to try to, to apply what you're learning this week. Um, Tuesday, we're continuing with our back squat and our press progressions. Again, as mentioned, we have sheets um, that can help you keep track of all your numbers. Come to class prepared, know what weight you're gonna open with and be very prepared to work up to those weights uh, with expeditiousness. Uh, everybody's moving pretty well. The weights are starting to get heavy and we're moving from three by fives to three by threes. So we're increasing the, uh, the, the weight and decreasing the volume. On Wednesday, we have one of our favorite workouts here. It is the Jonesy, uh, named after uh, one of our old time favorites, Jeremy Jones. Uh, this workout is a combination of uh, dumbbell snatches and double unders. It's a shoulder burner. If you're gonna do this workout, make sure that you get your calves and shoulders. You get here a few minutes early and get those joints ready for all the crazy jumping and dumbbell snatching that you're gonna do in that workout. Thursday, like I mentioned earlier, you get that opportunity to work on your pistols. Now, this is where it's going to be more of a game time. You're going to be doing these pistols in a workout. So it's not just practice, it's how well can you execute your pistols. Know how you're going to progress them. Come to class prepared, uh, knowing whether you're going to use a box or a band. Lastly, we have a mental toughness workout on Friday. It's called Maya. Uh, Maya, for those of you that did it before, is a combination of 300 meter runs, uh, 100 double unders and 18 overhead squats. Now the day before in the workout you're working on pacing. We've been working on pacing now for a couple of weeks. These mental toughness workouts are a fantastic opportunity for you to continue working on the idea of pacing, especially if you've been in a class that's teaching pacing. You don't want to do the first round in two minutes and then have the last round be a seven minute endeavor. You want to think about how smoothly you can work at a very high intensity. Be mindful of what your thresholds are and be honest about them as well. It'll make your workout that much more rewarding. Now, in a couple of weeks, on the 22nd, uh, we are gonna have our first ever hip hop class uh, taught here at CFLA. Now, we all need coaches. This, the guy that I'm bringing to, to teach hip hop to our CFLA community is my longtime hip hop coach, a very dear friend. He's been teaching me to dance for well over a decade at this point, uh, and he's gonna come and rock it here with us on June 22nd. His name is Paul Douglas, and uh, Mr. Paul, Paul, good to see you. And, but, uh, let's do it. Let's do it.